chosen ones is G Wells with them, and them are you with y'all? I chosen ones, and I'm chosen to serve the chosen ones. Hey, look, chosen ones, there's a big difference between the two. There's a big difference between inspired action and forced action. Inspired action always comes from your higher self. It's easy, it's peaceful. Like these type of actions are so easy, they literally just drop in your lap. You don't really have to go out and look for nothing or do anything. These things will come when the time is needed. Forced action is when you try to take action within the physical realm, as if the physical realm controls the spiritual realm. You see what I'm saying? This type of action is usually prevented or provoked by your circumstance, your physical problems, your, your issues or whatever you got going on in your life. You're focusing on that and you and what you're doing when you try to work on things that are that have already manifested. Guess what? You you're manifesting more of that in your life because that's what all your attention going to and that's why you're trying to put all your work and effort into that. When Anything you see or touch and see right now in the physical is, has already manifested. It's, it's done. But what you need to do is go within. Go within and see what the Most High has placed in you. See what the Most High has placed on your heart, the gifts you have. And see the person that the Most High wants you to be. And then you start taking those inspired actions. Because then when you're in that space, now you're creating. Now you're creating new for yourself. Now you're creating abundance. Now you're creating peace. That's why it's so, that's why it's so, when you out here trying to wrestle these things in the physical realm, that's why it's so hard, it's so difficult, it's so stressful, it's so, it's, it's so complicated. But when you go inwardly, you find peace. When you just walk in peace, when you let, when you just rest in God, when you rest in God, and when I say when you rest in God, you rest in what the Most High has placed in you. You, you rest in knowing that the Most High got you. You rest in knowing who you truly are in the Most High. And when you do that, those inspired actions will come to you. Chosen. Inspired action leads you down your path to everything you ever wanted, everything the Most High has placed in you. That vision of yourself you see, you see in your best version of yourself. The things you see that the Most High has, you know what I'm saying, placed in you. you. You see the abundance, you see the house, you see the car. Like all of that is when you rest in the inspired action. Not you trying to do all this forced action. Faith without works is dead. Faith with forced action is dead. But faith with inspired action is alive. That is what's creating new in your life. Not focusing on the past, not focus on what's already manifested because you're in the present moment and you're always creating in the present moment with your thoughts and how you think about yourself. Your thoughts, your thoughts of yourself. What are you thinking about? What is your self-talk? What are you envisioning in your mind? Are you saying that you're not good enough to have this? You're not good enough to have that? You're not good to do this? <clears throat> but the most high keep trying to plaster that vision on the front of your mind, but you keep rejecting it. The most high keep giving you visions of who you really gonna be, who you really are, and all you gotta do is take inspired action. You ain't gotta try to force it. When the Most High give you a vision, you ain't got to do nothing. You ain't got to do nothing. But just rest in it. And those inspired actions will come. Because I, ch check this out. When I used to get vision, I used to try to be like, oh, I'm going to be, I'm going to do this. Okay, then let me go out here and do this and force this and force that. And it got me nowhere. But I realized when you get that, that, that revelation, you get that vision of yourself. You get that vision of who you are, who you truly are. Not who people want you to be. When you rest in that, and you just chill out, and let God do everything, you'll start seeing things move in your reality. You start seeing things lining up. People talking to talk, people walking to walk. Like, people will start 
like you don't even know people like people are playing your game like people start bringing up stuff that's related to your vision that God gave you. you know you ain't even tell nobody but everybody but that's just God working like using everybody else just as confirmation for you you on the right path you doing your thing but look chosen ones inspired action is the only action forced action is when you trying to control your environment you trying to take on all your problems you carrying the, the burden of the past because all those things is manifesting want you in your life go within rest in God and what he said you're going to be and what you're going to do and then the inspired actions will come and y'all know what it is G-Wells with them